There's a common interest in this gap rising of Kaduna state officials as well as potential investors. They are all eager to see the construction of an animal feed factory which is projected to be completed in 15 months. These are just a few factors that make the governor excited about the proposed poultry factory. We acknowledge the confidence that the Olam group is displaying in the Nigerian economy and the soundness of our policies in the prospects of Kaduna State by choosing to cite this massive $150 million investment here in Kaduna. Output from the poultry project will also increase the footfall into Kaduna as people come from far and near to purchase eggs, day old chicks, layers and broilers and other poultry products. The benefits to the immediate community and the state in general will be immense. We are today taking another significant step in advancing our governance agenda to create jobs and improve the life chances of the people of Kaduna State. One of the largest the message from the Minister of Agriculture, who was represented by a director, is that this is in line with President Kwari's plan on diversification of the economy. When fully operational, this farm will produce one million day old chicks weekly and will greatly reduce our dependence on imported poultry. This is no doubt a spectacular feat. The company with the responsibility for the construction, or Lambs International, is more concerned about the long-run impact of the project. This event begins our new multi-billion, 30 billion Naira would be the total investment, out of which 20 billion uh, Naira in Kaduna State. The factory will comprise an animal feed mill, poultry breeding farms, and a hatchery to produce day-old chicks. 